Hi there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me do a review on House of Nishane once again. And this house I have reviewed quite a few fragrances. Of course not everything but quite a num few number of perfumes. So check them out. And today it's big thanks to Avik Bhai, one of my dear brother, Mr. Avik. Uh, not Avik Anwar, he is a racer but Avik Bhai is one of our uh, senior community members. This brother, he lent me some perfumes like during last month. And I am, I, I am, no I'm not I am ham. I am or I have plans to review them one by one. So here's the first of them. Uh, this is a uh, tiny little bottle. This actually is called Unutamam, I think. Yeah, Unutamam. Yeah, Unutamam. Um, this is a 30 ml bottle. It's Lisboa. I think Lisboa, Lisboa. I don't know how you say that name of the city. That's where they found the ingredients. And I have a test unit here. So I don't have a full presentation. So they have quite a few exotic Nishanes like Nefs, this one and a few others coming out. Uh, they are very expensive. This perfume right here is quite expensive as far as I remember. I don't remember exact price. So thank you so much Avikbhai for your generosity. And I have it pre-spread on the paper. I have two surprising factors of this fragrance. First of all, before I review this, I think the perfumer for this is Miguel Matos. Uh, what's his name? I, I could be saying the name wrong. Yeah, Miguel Matos. So this guy, uh, if I'm saying his name wrong, I'm sorry if you are watching brother. But I have seen him reviewing, like when I started my journey, I seen him reviewing perfumes on Fragrantica, for Fragrantica on YouTube and he has his channel I guess. I didn't know he was a perfumer, so ignorant of me and he made this fragrance. What a great little surprise. Awesome guy. He has awesome styling and uh, this is one dark animalic fragrance. It's a scary one. Um, so they have another one called Africa Olifan. That one is a scary one for me. So Nishane has some scary ones. This is one of those. If you are into animalic perfumes, keep watching, I guess. Okay. So once again, uh, this is the box of 30 ml. It says not for sale, but they sold it. So <laughs> yeah, we have testers coming in here in Middle East, uh, from Middle Eastern countries. So Nishan is, and this is uh, 30 ml. I don't know if it has many other bottle size, but I think I've seen only 30 ml. So this is a cute little bottle compared to my other Nishan is. Let's say I show you one, like this is 50 ml. Compared to that, it's a 30 ml. This is Sultan Vetiver. Okay, if you compare this with, let's say 100 ml, Okay, my bottle is running out uh, of honey. So this is 100 ml side by side. It's a very cute little bottle. So Nishana, you can understand it's my favorite house because I reviewed quite a few of them. I have quite a few favorites. I'm not quite sure if this is one of them. This is a scary experience. And I'm apologizing in the beginning because I'm not going to respray this. I show you the state of the paper. I don't know if the camera will pick up, the lighting will pick up. It actually picked up a color on the paper. It has kind of like this whole side picked up the color kind of yellowish not that dark and this fragrance is oh it's kind of like a like a giant mountain of a perfume this one that big this tiny little bottle it can kind of like blow a city away that sort of nuclear power ah oh, when i spray this man i sprayed this and by mistake i sprayed this i'm gonna say my frank opinion it's not that fault of the fragrance many people love this perhaps but i'll share my experience this fragrance i'll never wear okay and not for this fragrance is a bad quality fragrance it's just too strong this is such a massive perfume you know i don't think we have the weathers that's the main reason we don't have the weathers like cold weather uh, or snowing or freezing weather to pull this off this one can cut through the snow like even zombies cannot cut through okay uh, man, uh, there's a movie called Dead Snow. If you watched it, uh, uh, the Nazi, uh, what do you call the, what did they say? Zombies, yeah, they attack the people in the cabin and stuff. It's a movie, I think, in, what language was that? German? Forgot. I enjoyed that movie so much. One of my friends in Malaysia, she used to watch horror films. She gave me a list. This was not this, that movie was one of them. So I kind of got scared, freaked out by that movie because it was very scary and intense. This is such an intense experience. When I put this on, I immediately regretted it. Okay. Uh, let me hear the notes breakdown. Mint, rosemary, lavender, juniper. Middle notes are oregano, amber, jasmine, patchouli, carnation. Base notes are castorium, oak moss, caramel, and labdanum. When you hear the word caramel, do not be, oh, caramel, I like. No, you don't like. <laughs> because this is about that oregano. I think I'm picking up my notes. Patchouli. Uh, perhaps lavender, rosemary and castoreum and oak moss. That's that major notes to my nose. It's very, very strong. And that, oh, <coughs> the oregano is so strong. And I'll tell you one thing, okay? I'll just tell you one thing. 
you guys know my love for this blue beast this one's oregano it has that leather smoke yeah it's one of the blue beast called blue beast one of those scary ones imagine this is a sweetheart compared to this this has nothing on this one okay unu tamam is a beast and animal of its own this fragrance it's an i would say this is like a blind by worthy if you compare this to this this is like aquatic sweet uh, like creed aventus like so nice yeah if, if you see the safety features this one has a lot more safety than this this fragrance the 30 ml perhaps even if you get for cheap think before you ink do not pull the trigger because this smells strong if you are not into this kind of perfume these are truly niche style experimental much more advanced noses will pick this up and they will say man i like it it's like strong it, it almost feels like that fragrance called <coughs> africa olifant that had that cow dung not the cow dung the poop smell of the elephant you know this one it's not that but kind of like gunpowder something like a charcoal uh, something that is gothic something like think of bulgari men in black minus the tuberose or ram those sweet notes this one has an artiness kind of like a lava I don't see any any occasion like I want to wear this, you know, like I can, but I don't want to wear it because this fragrance is something you wear for your experience. And if you're really into this kind of volcanic, ashy, uh, dark, uh, think of, man, I can't think of anything else. The movie 2012, where the world, the world is coming to an end, almost like, you know, it's like natural disaster after disaster. This is that. It smells like disaster. It's, I have massive respect for this perfume, but I think it's a very scary one. This fragrance out of all my collection, I don't think I have anything that many that is as scary as this. Performance is crazy through the roofs. This perfume will not get you compliments unless you are with very uh, similar crowd like you who can appreciate the smell. Right from the atomizer, this didn't work with me. I can tell you honestly, man, this scared me a little bit, okay? I'm not saying I hate it, but I cannot, I'm too afraid of wearing this okay so massive respect for creating something like this nature this potent but uh in in my country you know in my heat and humidity i would not wear this not high heat fragrance okay anything but that nighttime cold weather snow you need these elements to make this work perhaps it will develop more naturally and more nicer you can get all those other notes which i did not get i did not get any caramel from this even on the dry down it gets better on with time it gets, you know, the opening, you know, I didn't get much uh, mint or rosemary, but on the dry down, I'm getting kind of like a citrusy vibe. On the very much, like, like a hard note, I'm getting kind of like a citrusy slash mint. Think of like a mint used in Thierry Mugler Angel Man, okay? Very dark, but you pick that note. Oh, there's a mint there, you know? Kind of like a dark mint patchouli. Thierry Mugler Angel Man could be one of the little, um, how to say, <laughs> children, one of them, you know? Uh, offspring of this perfume so i'm i'm telling you already this one has childlike interlude it has childlike angel man and those are like way under this okay if you like those perfumes give it a try this is what i will tell you unutamam for me i cannot wear this i'm never gonna buy this this fragrance is just from different universe okay different longevity performance you know crazy don't ask about it so if you like those description i gave you natural earthy darkness you can give it a try. Respect to Miguel for making this perfume. And overall score for this, the smell, uh, I would get pass uh, because this is not my type of smell, but you can give it a try. Overall rating for this fragrance quality is 8 out of 10. Okay. Check it out. Unutamam by Nishana. Thank you very much for watching. I have one more coming up, which is pawn number 9. I'll see you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.